Hey, Captain Chris Meyer of Central Florida Sight Fishing Charters. And one of my favorite lures to use on the shallow grass flats when fishing saltwater is this 3 inch DOA Cal paddle tail with a jig head. Now you can see this lure has an exposed hook and if I let this thing get down on the grass I may catch a big old wad of grass before I ever present it to my fish. As opposed to something like this which is completely weedless I could drag this through the bottom you shouldn't get a lot of grass on it you won't get any on the hook because the hook is not exposed. However you don't get quite as good of a hookup percentage using something like this as I will with a hook that's completely exposed. So I'm going to show you my technique for being able to use this on the flats. How do I use this in shallow grass and still get it to the fish before grass gets on it. So here's what I do. I'm making my cast and I never let it sink down until I get up to where the fish are. So the second it stops going out, it needs to start coming back. And if you're not familiar how to do that, check out my video on casting a spinning reel. I'm going to show you how I control the line, how I always am in control of when my jig or lure stops moving and when it, keeps, when it starts moving. Always be, know exactly where it is, so check out my casting videos on that. But the second it stops going out, I'm going to stop it with my finger immediately start moving back. I can see my fish, I can see the tail of the fish, I can see the wake of the fish. I know exactly where that fish is, so I know exactly where I want my lure to be in front of that fish. If I let it sink down for a, a half a second, this thing is heavy enough that it's already down in the bottom. So if I make my cast, I let it plunk down in the water, it's already in the bottom. And as it comes up through the bottom, I might get a big wad of grass on it, I might not. When you will get it on is right when you're about to cast to a hundred tailing redfish and you get a big clump of grass on it and it scares them away instead of them eating it. So we want to keep it on top. You won't get the grass on it if it's running across the surface. And how I'm going to do that, stop it with my finger. Before I even get the bale closed, I can already be moving my lure by just moving the tip of the rod. The bale's not closed. I moved that thing 12, 15 feet just by pulling the tip of the rod and holding the line with my finger. If I get it all in one smooth motion, I make the cast, close the bale, immediately I come to the handle. Close the bale by hand, immediately by the handle. That thing never has a chance to sink down, even with a heavy jig. This one is a three ounce jig, it's pretty heavy. Sometimes we're using sixteenths, sometimes we're using the quarters, three eighths, uh, one eighth to three eighths is the range that we use depending on how heavy, how high the wind is, how deep the water is. You can use even this jig in really shallow water if you follow this technique. So I'm going to demonstrate it. We're going to assume that our fish is about uh, halfway in here. There's a little leaf right out that way. We'll use that for our fish. I want to cast five to ten feet past the fish. The calmer it is, I'm going to cast a little bit farther. If it's slick calm like today, I want to land at least 10 feet away from them, but I got to get it up to them immediately, drop it down in their path. So I'm casting, since the fish are close, a lot of times they're not any farther away than that, I'm casting sidearm. Drop it down in his path, now I can work it. It takes a little bit of getting used to make this transition to be able to move the rod and get it up in front of the fish. So when I show people this on the boat that haven't ever used it before, usually what happens is they move the rod way too fast, so they make the right cast, they move the rod too fast and then they get the bale closed and now again it's sunk down in the bottom and it may or may not be on target. You want to get it all one smooth transition, it just takes a little practice when you're not actually casting that fish to reel that thing right across the top. You can control, so you see some sticks out there, I control exactly where I want it to land by putting my brake on. I can see my lure, let it drop down exactly where I need to be. So try using these uh, jigs with an exposed hook, you'll get a better hookup, but you have to be able to control it if you're fishing in shallow grass. And control learning to control just takes a little bit of practice and using the proper technique so check that out and you definitely will catch more fish